You're not alone in, in taking issue here. Uh, your fellow uh, Harvard economist Jason Furman has spoken out as well. But also we have Bill Ackman who says it's not enough just to speak out at this point. We should know the names of the students who participated in these statements because future employers should take that into account in their employment. Do you think it should go that far? I think Bill's getting a bit carried away. Uh, look, uh, David, this letter was issued six hours after the attacks. Many in the groups had no idea that there was going to be a letter. Some who probably signed their groups on didn't fully know what they were signing. Some, I'm sure, were naive and stupid. I don't think this is a time for individual vilification. It's not a time for demonizing Israel. And it's not a time for demonizing students who weren't careful or who were silly in uh, what they did. That's very important to maintaining a community. Bill's entirely right, and I would do the same thing as he does in wanting to make sure that the people I hired weren't people who stood with uh, hate but asking for lists of names, that's the stuff of uh, Joe McCarthy, not uh, the stuff, not what uh, I think um, strong business organizations or universities like Harvard uh, should uh, be doing. I think we've got to keep a sense of proportion here. We've got to keep uh, the temperature uh, down. There are incredibly hard questions ahead of us around the response, and there are not going to be any good answers, but we may find less tragically bad answers if we can recognize the clear moral lines and then beyond that support open debate.